The message should be brief, it should be humorous, and it should bear no relationship to the truth. <laughs> Which I think you'd agree is entirely in keeping with the character of our marvellous hostess for this evening. So let me relay a few little stories for you. Uh, Lynn and I first met each other in London just on nine years ago. Uh, we were both uh, working in the city of London. I was working for an IT company selling computer software to banks. I was young, innocent, naive. And then I met this woman with big hair, big nails, big jewellery, and a big thirst. And uh, <laughs> life was me. never quite the same yet. I was at the time preoccupied with trying to figure out what she did. And then we noticed that wherever she went, people seemed to be connected. And she just seemed to have this incredible art for taking people that had no natural connection, but somehow connecting them. And uh, working in the IT industry as we did, we got some people to study this thing that Lynn did. And on the back of that, they went away and did some engineering and they created this thing called the computer network, which was uh, an implementation of the Lynn model of connecting people. It seems to have caught on, actually. I've discovered it's fairly popular nowadays. But Lynn is absolutely the prototype. Lynn, of course, subsequently d developed her big cat fetish, which has taken her all over the world. And uh, it seems that wherever she goes all over the world in pursuit of her big cat fetish, shortly afterwards she usually turns up at my place. And uh, she's turned up at my place in Australia, she's turned up at my place in the UK, she's arrived at my place from the UK, from Africa, from all manner of bizarre geographies. And uh, she often turns up, you know, with that wild bush woman hairstyle and the, the leopard print that says, you know, I've really been out there doing something outrageous. But it wasn't till, until tonight when the keepers explained that whole marking his territory thing that I finally understood what the yellow patterns down her trouser legs were all about. <laughs> I have to say though that being around Lynn is always enormously entertaining. I don't know about you, but I find my own life has a sort of a, a sense of regularity and predictability about it until I come into contact with Lynn and then immediately all sense of predictability and normalcy tends to fly straight out the window. And suddenly I'm in a world full of drama and celebrities and excitement and, well, who knows what might happen next. It's always kind of incomprehensible, unique, stunning. It's kind of Lynn, really, isn't it? So, ladies and gentlemen, would you join with me in raising your glass and toasting our hostess for the evening, the exceptional, the wonderful, the quite extraordinary Miss Lynn Sander. Here's to Lynn. <laughs> 